Greg Helm with PV, and I'm here with Audio Savings to talk about the big boys of the IPRs, the 5,000. There's a 7,500 we'll be talking about also. This particular one has the DSP, which you can see here, and we'll be going through that in a separate video that's probably right below this video. Uh, the 5,000 is a pretty incredible amp because I'm going to unplug it just so I can kind of show you how light it is. It's a great amplifier, 5,000 watts, that's 2,500 watts a side. And it, the nice part about it is they don't get hot. These are so efficient. Most amplifiers, if you want to produce 1,000 watts, you have to, or put out 1,000 watts, you have to produce two. And that's why they get hot. That other 1,000 watts is dissipated in heat. And that's why you have the fans and the heat sinks and the coil, and they're so heavy. This is so efficient, it doesn't get hot. We actually had a guy replace a, a bunch of amplifiers in a very hot area because his amps would go down one or two every week. He replaced them with the IPRs and in the last two years haven't had, has not had one failure. And that's pretty cool. So this is 5,000 watts. If you take a look at the back, it's a pretty simple amp. You have your combo jacks in, quarter or XOR. You have your throughs, which are XOR. Then you have your speak-ons. Now the cool part is channel one is one plus, one minus for a speak-on, but channel two is one plus, one minus, and two plus, two minus. So if you're doing a bi-amp, you can plug it here and it will do both channels for you, which is very nice. Most higher-end professional amps have these. Amps in this price range typically don't. So don't let the price point fool you. Don't let the weight fool you. These amps have amazing bass, they're very sturdy, they have, they, they have amazing high end as well, and uh, I can't say enough about them. IPR2, 5000, get one now and get it at Audio Savings. I'm Greg with PV, thanks for your time.